Welcome to The Slumberyard, I'm Wes, and in today's video we're talking about how Layla compares to Tuft & Needle. So I'm gonna be talking about the original Tuft & Needle mattress, the All Foam, and the original Layla mattress, because they have a hybrid version too. Not talking about that one, the original. And in this video we're gonna to touch on everything that you need to know about these mattresses, starting with the policies, then I'll touch on the similarities, the differences, all while talking about feel, firmness, pricing, and at the very end I'll try to have a final verdict and answer the questions that you still might have about these beds like which one is right for you. And if you enjoy this video along the way, hit the thumbs up button and always know that there'll be so much more information about these beds down below in the description box, including full written reviews, comparisons, and some coupon codes. And without further ado, let's get into Layla versus Tuft & Needle. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about Layla and Tuft & Needle, I do wanna say that both these brands did send us these beds for free to review and tell you guys about them, but if you order either one online, they're gonna be backed by the following policies, starting with free shipping. Now these are both bed in a box mattresses, meaning they'll ship to your house in a pretty big box that you just drag inside and start ripping off all the packaging and the bed will expand in front of your eyes. Now since these are both all foam beds, I recommend uh, you know leave them out for a day or a couple of hours and let them fully inflate and get to their true firmness and feel before you start making any tough, harsh judgments about the beds. Now once either one of these mattresses are in your possession, you get a sleep trial with both. With Tuft & Needle, you get 100 nights, and with Layla, you get 120 nights. So at minimum, you're gonna get at least 100 nights to test these beds out in the comfort of your own home and make your own decisions about them with your own sheets and so on. Now, if you don't like the beds within that trial period, that's fine because you can get free returns within that trial period, but hopefully you do like them. If so, Tuft & Needle is backed by a 10-year warranty, and Layla is actually backed by a lifetime warranty, so. That's pretty nice to have as well. And if you need any more information about those warranties or those sleep trials, check down below in the description because we'll have some helpful links for you so you can read up all the details on those. Now let's jump right into this comparison and talk about construction. So what are these beds made up of? And this is one way that these beds are kind of different. And that is because the Tuft & Needle mattress is a simple two layer all foam bed. It's got dense support foam on the bottom, then a comfort foam layer, which is an adaptive open cell foam and that will all add up to give the bed more of a soft, neutral foam feel. It's something that when you lay down on, you're probably gonna enjoy it, something that we say that nine out of 10 sleepers will probably really like, and it's pretty much just a safe pick, something that would be great in a kid's room or a guest room or in your main bedroom. Now, Layla is a little bit more unique. It is a flippable bed, so they have a soft side and a firm side. So in the middle, they have support foam, which is the bed's main support. Then there is a transition layer on either side, and they will differ slightly in their sizes depending on which side you go with. And then on top is copper-infused memory foam, which adds up to give the bed more of a airy, fluffy memory foam feel. It's more of a new age memory foam. It's not like something like a Tempur-Pedic or a Nectar mattress where that's a really dense, viscous, slow to sink in. This is a lot more responsive, but it will have some of those memory foam qualities like cradling your body and kind of creating a little cocoon for you to sleep in. We classify the Layla mattress to have pretty much a balance between something like a soft neutral foam feel and a traditional memory foam feel. It's kind of the best of both worlds in that regard. So when comparing these two feels head to head, you've got a soft neutral foam feel and more of a fluffy airy memory foam feel. But now let's compare these beds firmnesses head to head. And with the Tuft & Needle mattress, this bed will be right at a medium on our firmness scale, meaning it should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. You know, since it is right in the middle, it should be a great option for pretty much any type of sleeper out there. And that's probably also one of the reasons why they put it in that medium category. But with the Layla mattress, since it does have a flippable design, you get two firmness options to choose in one bed. So the soft side is right around a medium soft on our firmness scale, so it should work for any side sleepers or some combination sleepers as well. Since it is on the softer end of the spectrum, we usually recommend people who are side sleepers to look into something like this because we've seen that that's what they like. Now, if you flip the bed over to that firm side, it's between a medium and a medium firm on our firmness scale. So it should work for all sleeper types, but it might be slightly better for strict back or stomach sleepers. No matter which bed you go with, these are pretty accommodating firmness choices and having two choices in one bed is always nice to have. But if these firm firmness levels aren't exactly right for you, that's fine because both of these mattress brands do make 
other options. With Tuft & Needle, they have the Tuft & Needle Mint Mattress, which is a softer bed, more designed for strict side sleepers. It's an all-foam bed as well, a great choice. And they have the Tuft & Needle Hybrid Mattress, which is also right around a medium, but that bed has pocketed coils. And in general, we recommend people who are above the 200 to 250 pound range should probably look into a bed with pocketed coils, or if you just like a bed with some more bounce or something, with responsiveness, that is an option as well. And with Layla, they have the Layla Hybrid Mattress, which does have coils as its main layer of support. And it is also flippable, so that's something cool if you want a hybrid bed with that fluffy, airy, memory foamy feel. And I'll link those beds down below in the description box if you wanna learn any more about those. But let's get back into this one and talk about some X factors for the beds. Now, in the case of Tuft & Needle, they don't really have any X factors for this one because it's a pretty simple bed. It's two layers, it's a medium firmness, and it's a soft neutral foam feel. It's what you're getting, and most people like that because they know what it is. Now with Layla, I pretty much covered these already, but it is flippable, so that's something cool to have. You can test the bed out on one side, and if it's a little too firm, flip it over to that soft side. Maybe that's a little bit better for you. And having that lifetime warranty is always nice. You're definitely gonna have to read up on all the details on that thing, but hey, a lifetime warranty sounds pretty cool. Now that brings us to our last section, which is price. So how much money are you gonna be paying, whether you go the route of Layla or Tuft & Needle? And I do wanna preface this little section and say that mattress brands like these two do like to change their pricing and promotions constantly. So this is as of when I'm recording this video, but you should be able to pick up a queen size Tuft & Needle mattress for around the $1,000 mark. And as of when I'm recording this video, they are offering a discount where you can save around 100 bucks. So definitely check down below in the description and use that coupon if you'd like. And if you do decide to use it, it helps us out over here at the Slumberyard and we really appreciate any support you wanna give us. Now, in terms of the Layla mattress, this bed retails for around the $1,100 mark for that queen size, but they're usually offering some pretty consistent discounts, bringing the price closer to the $950 mark. So again, check out that discount code if you want. It'll be linked down below in the description box. But that's basically the story when comparing Layla to Tuft & Needle. It's a pretty easy comparison to make because you know, one's flippable and one's a pretty simple bed, but what is our final verdict? Well, I would check out the Tuft & Needle mattress if you want a simple all foam bed with a soft neutral foam feel that's right around a medium. And check out the Layla mattress if you're looking for something a little bit more unique with that flippable design, you want two different firmness options, and you want a bed with more of a fluffy, airy, memory foamy feel. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumber Yard. What do you guys think? Have you tried either one of these beds or would you like to? Write us down below in those comments. We would love to hear from you. And if you need any more information about Layla or Tuft & Needle, check down below in that description box. We'll have so much more information down there, including those coupon codes. And if you enjoyed this video, you know, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and you can always subscribe for so much more. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes wishing you good night's sleep. Subscribe.